We know that Deadpool is guaranteed to stay a Disney franchise. It makes so much money that getting rid of it would probably piss off a lot of investors. But what do the people that are actually responsible for the current, I guess, golden age of Marvel Studios saying and thinking about Deadpool? Well, the directors of Avengers Endgame have a few things to say. Now obviously before we get into this, let me remind people, because there's always new people subbing to this channel and watching these videos, Deadpool is staying in the MCU. Uh, Disney's own higher ups have said so. Bob Iger literally told directors, yeah, Deadpool is going to be a mainstay franchise. He's going to interact with the rest of the Marvel Universe. That's coming down the road. So naturally, they're not going to lie to people that are investing money in the company and Deadpool is a big core brand. But Joe and Anthony Russo, who of course have directed Infinity War, Civil War, Winter Soldier, and of course the upcoming Avengers Endgame, are largely responsible for today's, you know, I guess status quo of the MCU. And naturally so, they've been asked about Deadpool and his inclusion in the MCU, what we can expect and what's going to happen. And while they didn't give us too much, here's what they had to say. He breaks the fourth wall so it changes tones. Is he not allowed to break the fourth wall? Would that damage the character? We would literally lock ourselves in a room for two months and discuss this question before we could arrive at an answer. So there you go. Um, honestly, this is what I've been saying since the beginning, since the rumors of this happening were a thing. Uh, Deadpool, imagine in a moment where something serious is happening. Imagine, you know, a character, let's say, dies. Having Deadpool there, what are you going to do? Have him look at the camera and go, it's just a movie, it's okay. And everybody around the room looks at him and goes, what? That takes away from the moment. That's why Deadpool in the comics has largely been absent from such important events where things like this happen, because it's happened in the comics where he comments about a character's death during an event, and you're just like, wow, that really took the moment out of it. You know, he, he's kind of like that. He breaks the fourth wall, and including that element of the character into the MCU would take away a lot from it, right? This is also the same thing when people say, oh, Deadpool should cameo in every movie instead of Stan Lee. It's like, again, that takes you out of it. Maybe if he's in the background and you have to really look for him for a quick cameo, that would work. But if every time something is happening, he pops up, it takes away from the core aspect of it, right? He's not a Stan Lee, he's Deadpool. He's more in your face. He's breaking the fourth wall. So like they said, you know, it's kind of a, tough task more or less is what they're telling you because they have to decide how do you handle Deadpool like this and what do you do going forward but they've had discussions clearly and they're saying it's going to be a while and they're going to have more discussions till they figure out how to do it. 